What up? Coming to you live from the steal of the year, my new Honda Acti K van. In today's video, we're gonna do part two of a full tune up. You guys saw my video on the beat, that was a complete disaster. I am not making the same mistakes, so we're gonna use an OEM filter. Still gonna use the same spark plug, still gonna use the same spark plug wires. We're gonna get all that done. I also plan on putting these rims on. So these are off my high jet, so we're gonna jack the car and put those bad boys on. And I have some Honda Acti parts if anybody wants. I have a full set right here. If you wanna rock brown, blue, brown. If not, I have a blue, blue, brown. So I'm only gonna rock the rubber ones. I don't really care about these. So if anybody's interested, hit me up, best offer. They're really just collecting dust at this point. Also gonna sell the roller coaster bar. These are cool and all to show your friends. Like, oh, hey, what is this? A seatbelt, blah, blah, blah. But I've had too many K cars. And honestly, this is just taking up space and I don't really need it. So if anybody wants the roller coaster bar, it's all yours. But let's get into this oil change. It should be just as standard as the other one. Let's hope and pray that this filter isn't also glued on. It's also a Honda one, I can tell because it's blue. It does look a little junky, it does look a little cakey, but we're gonna pray for the best. I haven't even pulled it yet, so we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully though, it comes off right away. Let's actually attempt to do this first. Ah, my gosh. No way we're running into this back to back. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. What is going on with you stupid ass Honda people putting on these filters so tight? Oh my God. Uh, let's see if this can help. Oh yes. Thank the heavens. Oh my God. I was not trying to do that all over again. All right, filter out. Here's the part number if anyone needs it. Let's take this out. Put a little bit of oil inside. Put some on the rim. Put in the new filter. Make sure it's hand tight. That's good. Now let's grab our 17. Pop that open. Tighten this back up. Again, not too tight, that's good. Now for the tricky part. So there really isn't too much room to navigate and I don't have a long enough funnel. So we're gonna try our best with this one. I guess I'm gonna take my sweet time. I also made a whole nother mess. I knocked this over. Like <laughs> my mom's really gonna kill me. Like this mess is still here from the last oil change. I just made another huge one and she be really complaining about the backyard. So I gotta figure that out. Oh my God, look at this. <sighs> so I found it's a lot easier if I use two hands and just stick it out a bit. That way it's able to really channel down there. But that's full. Let's see if there's any drops down here. Nope, I think we're pretty straight. I'm just gonna clean that up. All right, oil change done. That wasn't too bad besides the huge mess that I made. Mama fame is not gonna like that. Side note, what does this go to? Someone with a Honda Acti Street. You see how one is pointing up and the other one is pointing to the side? What is this use? I thought it maybe went there, but I don't see any screws where I can mount this in. Does it go here? Not too sure, so someone let me know what the hell this is. It came with the van, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Let's get back here. Kind of crazy to be saying this, but this is my first time popping the hood. I already bought the van, so I don't think there's much going back, but let's see how it looks. Not too bad, super dusty, which is typical, but it doesn't look terrible. I don't see any major leaks or any leaks at that. The valve cover looks a little troublesome. I might have a leak there. I think these are pretty prone to that. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that. But besides that, everything looks good. Let's change the spark plugs, let's change the wires, freshen this thing up a bit. So I just took out the first spark plug and cleaned it up. There was a lot of oil in there. So I'm gonna say that I most likely have a valve cover leak. What I'm gonna do is just remove all the spark plugs. I'm gonna grab some carburetor cleaner. I'm gonna spray it inside. I'm gonna crank it a couple times just so I can clean it a bit before I put the new spark plugs in. So let's do a quick time lapse of me taking out the spark plugs. Well, 
look at this. That is really bad. But now we're gonna grab some carb cleaner, spray it in there nice and thick. So the reason I sprayed it with carburetor cleaner is that if I'm gonna put some brand new sparkles in there, I don't really wanna just put them on top of the oil that's already in there. So I'm gonna crank it a couple times. Everything's gonna shoot out. It sucks that I don't have a hood. So I'm gonna see if I grab a towel or something cause it's gonna make a complete mess in here. So I'll grab this guy. So let's give it a couple cranks. So it's getting compression and let's see. Look at that. The towel was already dirty, but I'm pretty sure it's a little better now. So I'm gonna add the new spark plugs now. This is what working in a Honda Acti looks like. Everyone always says they're super reliable, very easy to work on, it's a Honda. No, it's not. Subaru is much better because it's in the back and Daihatsu and Mitsubishi and Suzuki, it's in the front. Well, Suzuki's in the back, but you know what I mean. Honda is annoying. This is why I shouldn't have bought this and shouldn't have got one. I think I'm quickly remembering why I stayed away from these Hondas. Spark plug two is gonna have to wait. Let's do number three. Update on everything that's going on. So the reason that spark plug number two didn't go inside swiftly is because this was stuck inside my distributor cap. So initially I was just gonna take out the whole distributor cap but that looks like a pain in the ass and I'm already annoyed. But look at this spark plug wire right here. I was looking at it and I was like, why does this look different? Oh, look at it. I'm like, what does it look like? If they're all supposed to look like this, that one look like that and it's because this was stuck inside my distributor cap. So I was just struggling for the last 30 minutes. I grabbed this bad boy, pulled it out. And now I have new spark plug wires, new spark plugs. We got a fresh oil change and we're pretty much done with maintenance. I'm just gonna put the car down. I'm gonna jack it up. We're gonna put the new rims on and the car is pretty much done for today. So I just put the rear rims in and I don't think I'm gonna rock out with these. The hub to rim duration is huge. I know I could get hub centric rings, but I don't think it fill in that gap. So I might just put the rims I have on the beat on these and then put my beat rims back on because I'm gonna drive it like this, but I don't really love the way that looks. Might need some brake pads pretty soon. Let's put these rims on. So I guess this part of the video is gonna stop here. I have the rims on. And as you can hear, it's rubbing on the spring. So I'm gonna have to get a spacer. I already don't love the way the hubs look. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go back to the drawing board. Unfortunately, I won't be able to drive this in today's video. I was thinking about just driving around the block a couple times, seeing how it looks and feels after the tune up. But I don't have enough time to buy spacers today, so we're just gonna have to leave this like this. And we'll get back into the Honda build tomorrow. Came here to find some spacers. I only see six and five lug. I'm not quitting. Let me ask to see if they have any four lug. I am determined. I am not gonna be turned away. I don't care if the sun is going down. We're getting the acty good. Let's see if this spacer is good enough. If not, I'm just returning it and then we'll actually order the right one. Or like I said, I might just put the Honda rims that are currently on the beat because these really not loving the fact that the board's that big, but let's try it out. No more rubbing. I think we figured it out. Let's put these rims on. I hear a grinding noise, but I think that's more my brake pad. Yeah, I would say that's more of my caliber than that guy. Again, a scraping sound, but I think that's more caliber than spring. Let's put this down. 
tighten it up by hand and let's drive it around the block let's see if the car explodes or let's see if i did a great job all right everything is nice and tightened first start after the oil change and spark plugs no oil light car's idling fine let's check for any leaks gonna go away in a bit all right let me clean this up let's go around the block and let's see if these rims feel really bad or maybe i could just rock out with them like this first drive and the newly equipped rims spark plugs oil change let's see did we get some crazy vibrations no it feels pretty good I'm in a residential area, so I really can't get it up there to highway speeds, but let me try to punch it down this block. Feels good. Car's drifting a little to the left. Maybe the tires need some air. They've been sitting in my garage for two years. But as of right now, everything feels nice, smooth, even better than it was yesterday. Tires have about like this much, not even, maybe like a half an inch from rubbing, so I don't love that. But as of right now, I'm pretty happy. Nice cruise around the block. No complaints. All right. Only thing we gotta do now is fix that valve cover gasket. And this is still looking like a very good purchase. So it's the next morning. Here's how it looks nice and clean. I put the new rims on there. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. I don't love the way the board looks, so I think I might just put the Honda Life rims on there. Or I'm gonna check Facebook Marketplace to see if I can find some VXs or HXs, something like that. But I'm in this video here. Can't wait to start working on this bad boy, going on some fun adventures. We're gonna do a fun video tomorrow in this thing. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, once we get to 10K subs, I'm doing a free giveaway. And who knows? Maybe it'll be this van, maybe it'll be the beat, maybe it'll be a K truck. Not sure yet, but we're only 900 away. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.